to use an aerobrader. All right, why do we use an aerobrader? Aerobration is used as a micro etch to the enamel to add better retention. It's also, so let me talk about the applications. One would be in sealants. So in order to get all the material out of the out, effectively, this is the best way to do it. It will also show you if you have missed a cavity. So a lot of times you can clean out the grooves and crevices on the occlusal surfaces of a tooth and you'll find it drops down in and there is where you have a cavity. So even though you use this, go back and check the tooth again to see if there's decay. Cool. Other areas that work, this works very, very well. It's in class five uh, lesions or abfractions or abrasions, erosion, so that you, a lot of times, just etching and sealing will not get that retention. So you can actually get retention in dentin because you've micro etched it with the aerobrader. <clears throat> so it's much more effective that way. You do have to be careful about overspray in the case of a filling because you, you will abrade the tissue and create a bleeding situation. So you have to be very careful about that. The other applications, you can even do small cavity preps with it. And I tend to use a, a, an in and out motion as well as swiping across the tooth when I'm trying to do a, a filling. You'll find that you won't even need anesthesia with the, the air abrasion when you're doing a filling. It just won't happen. And if you get to the point where you've removed a lot of enamel and opened the, the cavity up, you still have some leathery decay in there, you can go and take your slow speed with a round burr, remove the decay, and still won't need to get numb. So cool. it's very effective. So let me show you yeah. how you use the, the air abrader. <clears throat> the nice thing about this is that there's water coming out at the same time the abrasive is coming out. This is the abrasive, aluminum oxide. Nice. It's a powder. <clears throat> it goes into This is where it goes. There is a, a line. <clears throat> you fill it up two-thirds of the way. These are plastic. Um, so don't over tighten. If, it, if you get it kinked and it won't screw in, don't strip the threads. <clears throat> Start over. Then, so we're going to put the uh, abrasive in there. There is an adapter, which I don't see right now, but the adapter goes in and then it just plugs in, uh, for example, like this, and it's ready to go. Perfect. That's your electric hand piece that it goes Well, no, you, on use this, you use the regular, uh, it, it has its own adapter, so it won't be on here. The adapter will be here, gotcha. and it'll plug right in. Okay. 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 You have different tips with this. Some of them are angled, and some of them, well, these two are angled, but sometimes you can get them straight, and the orifice may be a different size. There's a larger orifice and a smaller orifice. Okay. So I, I just pretty much use what's ever there, and I don't worry about it. Um, so when you put it in, there is a red arrow. Yep. That is where this red dot lines red to up. Red to red. Yeah. Actually, there's a slot. You put it in the slot. There is a yep. little bump. You put that in there and you turn it. When the dot and the arrow line up, it's on. It won't come off. Seated. Cool. That's seated. So, that's how you start. Now, we've got to clean this up. Every time you use it, you have to take it apart and clean it. This does not go in the autoclave. Okay. This can be bagged in autoclave. Okay. So you take that off, you unscrew this. Let's pretend it's full of aluminum oxide. Put the cap over it. That's what you use next time. Okay. Then there is a tip. This comes off right here. Don't lose this. That comes off. 
there is a cleaner that you can put through this hole and you just yep. ream it out a little bit. And you take that back and you put this, this back on. If you lose that piece, it won't work. Screw that back on gently. It doesn't have to be cranked on. You just put it on gently, wipe it off and store it. Perfect. You're ready to go for the next time. Perfect. There is uh, a wrench here. If you run into trouble and you can't get the tip off the end, you can use that wrench. But, yeah. uh, sometimes that can happen. Uh, one thing that I have discovered is if I take my air water syringe tip and blow air in here, then that'll clean it out because sometimes this gets clogged up inside with residue and then you can't twist it on. Okay. Do not use water on this. You will, it'll all cake up and you'll ruin the material that's in here. It has to stay dry. Cool. So uh, that's the awesome. long and short of uh, how that works. Awesome. Well, that is your aerator overview. Stay tuned for more. Yeah.